GLC meeting, which was on March 26th. Um, and there were lots of uh, concerns raised for some of these applications that are also noted in this application. So please take a look and think about those things as the presentations are made this evening. And you may have some additional questions that you want to raise. Uh, I understand that this report is a cutting edge report. I meant to say that first. And see Victor for the physical evidence of that. Um, and the last thing is I invite you to, as I always do, to the next ZLC committee meeting, which is on, eight, on April 23. That's a Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, second floor of the Mariner's House. The meetings are really important, and we would love to have more participation and help uh, with those meetings. They're important because I have heard at council meetings, and I've heard at these meetings, that projects have changed, applications have changed because of the discussions that are held at the ZLC committee meeting. So I hope that you'll be a part of those discussions. Yeah, I'd like to mention the uh, recent zoning um, meeting, which we had strict approval. Did you talk about that? Um, well, I can. Okay. The, uh, the uh, Zoning Board of Appeal uh, met on Tuesday and there were several items I don't have listed, unfortunately. Um, we had approved, either voted to approve or um, deducted the executive of no objections to all except uh, one, which was uh, second floor expansion of the rest of the building uh, on, on Salem Street, which has the booking elevator on the first floor. Uh, there were uh, three or four members of our organization there. Uh, I spoke and explained why we had voted against. Uh, there was a petition filed with something like 100 signatures. Uh, nevertheless, the zoning board would be able to vote to support. And the, uh, the only comment was from uh, Anthony Pisani, one of the members of the board, who complimented the passion of those who spoke uh, in opposition, but said this is only one small uh, addition, uh, on a small building. Move, second, and vote to support. Um, is there anything else you'd like to know about? Yes. Um, that passed the zoning board. Now, what about the fact that uh, the alcohol license is going to add 30 or so seats? Is well, that another vote? The, the alcohol license would have to be amended. Correct. There would have to be a new seating plan filed, and there would be a hearing, and presumably they would come before us for, uh, for our support of opposition. Yes. Victor, having been there, I just wanted to add yes, that, please, that please both expand. Councilor La Martina's representative and the mayor's representative supported the, ex the expansion, despite the fact that Nura had voted by a huge margin against it. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Could, could we ask why? Why? Yeah. Because to be honest with you, I thought it, it performed the data over there. You're adding one more story. Uh, it's not talking any windows over there. Uh, the Naval Council voted to support it. So I just support it. Well, you didn't support it. There's something in that day. I support it. You know, 27 opposed yeah. and 10 supported. And if it was, I mean, and it, and I support it. We have over 200 signatures. Okay, uh, and the approvals, uh, the other approvals were Pink Berry Yogurt, uh, the Tanakh Mexican Restaurant, and the Pablo Stone Cafe at the top of here. Okay. 